everyone, I'm JD from the Band Channels and today I have a craft with me video working with these beautiful sequins and there's some floral sequins as well that I got from Global Land. So big, big thank you to Global Land. I have had a couple of tutorials on my channel before showing different ways that I make these shaker bags. So some of them I just use the packaging from other products like from stickers or die cuts or even from these <laughs> sequins um, you can get ones that are the perfect size where you can put some sequins inside and fold over the self-sealing flap and you've got a ready-made shaker bag like that or you can get packaging that might be a bit bigger cut it down to size and sew around the edges and fill it up with sequins and sew it closed. So that's another way of making them. You can also get Ziploc bags, little Ziploc bags and fill them up with sequins. And I just love using them to include into journals as something interactive that you can shake and move around and they're pretty, they're sparkly, they're really beautiful. I've been putting them into my garden and botanical journals at the moment and I'm really keen to put them into some fairy journals in the future. So what I've got in this video is a bunch of those self-sealing bags but this time I bought a packet of them so from the local cheap shop where I live they have a whole range of different sizes of self-sealing bags and those are the ones that I use to package my journals and orders uh, so I have A4 sized bags I've got some smaller narrower bags for smaller journals and then I've got these tiny little bags <laughs> that I'm going to be using to make my own little sequin sh shaker bags with. So just to get myself prepared, I've got this container of sequins and aren't they stunning? They're so beautiful. There's a whole range of colors. I got that container from Global Land. And then I also got those little packets of the floral sequins from Global Land as well. So I just opened them all up and now I am making different shaker bags according to different colors because I often make color themed journals. So I have blue, green, yellow, pink and purple that I'll be making up here. And then uh, later on at the end I did end up making some mixed bags so combination bags uh, so for example I love the combination of the blue and purple especially um, I've done blue and pink I've done purple and pink and I've done some with blue pink and purple <laughs> so that's my favorite color spectrum range and then I've also done mixed bags with just all the colors like all the colors so including with the red and the silver and the gold um, and then I also did make up some Christmas shaker bags so in those ones I used red gold and green sequins maybe some silver as well so it was really fun just to do all these different colors and different combinations and I always like making my embellishments and ephemera in bulk so I just spent a fun afternoon <laughs> making up all of these shaker bags and then you saw that container or, or that blue basket that I showed at the start of the video that's where I store all of my shaker bags and so now whenever I am working on a journal and I want a bit of sparkle in there, I can just grab that basket out, find the right color that I need and put it into those journals. For example, the latest two journals that I made were some, uh, what were they? They were two child garden verse journals, little golden book journals. And at the very start of that journal, I paper clipped in one of those shaker bags because it's like garden and I put one with flowers in them. So some of the shaker bags I did make only with sequins, with the round sequins. Others I made only with the floral shape. 
uh, but the majority of the shaker bags I made up using um, a combination of both and you can experiment you can try all different sizes um, you just need some plastic packaging and you can yeah have fun finding different types of bags different sizes different shapes I had some square ones that I shared earlier in this video and they were quite a bit larger than these smaller rectangle ones um, and the ones where you can cut out the size yourself uh, obviously you can make them as small or as large as you want and I do have a video sharing some pouches that I got from Global Land as well and I think they're coin pouches they're a thicker plastic and I got two different types of coin pouches and I filled those up with sequins as well so I've got a whole range of all different types of shaker bags different sizes different types of plastic different shapes and different methods of making them but obviously if you get the self-sealing bags or the ziploc bags they're probably the easiest way of making these shaker bags because no sewing required you don't have to cut them down you just pour in the sequins and then ziploc it closed or um, peel off the um, self-sealing flap and flap it down <laughs> or press it down so yeah it's I hadn't gotten these little pouches before these little self-sealing bags but I knew that my local cheap shop sold them because I knew that they had all different sizes and I thought these would be the perfect size to make these little shaker bags and you can see I just have fun adding a whole bunch of sequins to them um, and I did end up using pretty much all of those uh, sequins in that container there's hardly any left now and I have finished some of the floral bags of sequins too um, mainly the blue and purple ones because blue and purple that they're my favorite colors together so I did end up making a lot more blue and purple ones and used all of those ones up so yeah I just had a fun time making these up and let me know if you've made your own as well or what's your favorite method to make them and if you've never made them before feel free to have a go they're really simple a really easy craft project but they add such a beautiful pop of sparkle and color into journals and I, and I do love how interactive they are you can move them around that's why I like to paper clip them in because um, that way you can take them out play with them shake them they make such a fun sound speaking of sounds <laughs> i actually filmed this video in a quiet version first of all um, and i have put it over on my asmr channel if anyone is interested and you like the sound of crinkles and plastic and paper turning um, i've got my journal asmr channel where i share journal flip throughs and craft with me videos where i do no talking and no music in the background <laughs> so i thought this would be a perfect video for that because there's lots of of crinkles and lots of plastic sounds and shaking sounds of the bags so I'll, I'll leave a link down below in the description box to my ASMR journal channel um, as well as to global land and a discount code that you can use uh, for any of your orders um, they have a lot of different goodies not just sequins <laughs> they have other craft items as well and paper goodies so yeah i hope you enjoyed this very chatty craft with me video and i will see you all in the next video bye guys a huge thank you to my beautiful patrons who supported me in the month of october i appreciate you so much you allow me to do what i do here on youtube making journals teaching journaling courses and running workshops if you would like to support willow bound journals you can become a patron by clicking the link down below in the description box or you can also support my channel by becoming a member of my channel by clicking the join button uh, so that is where you get access to member videos and all patrons also get access to member videos over on my patreon uh, patrons also get access to the journal making videos 
as well as printables each month and the Ruby patrons get access to every single printable kit in my Etsy. There are mail tiers as well where I send goodies to you in the mail. So hopefully there is something for everyone who would like to support Willowbound Journals.